And I want you to turn with me real quick to the book of Psalms 126. 126. And if it is your custom to stand, you may stand in the reading of the word. And the Bible says, when the Lord brought back the captive ones of Zion, we were like them who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with joyful shouting. Then they said among the nation, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our captivity, O Lord, as the stream in the south. Those who soak in tears shall reap with joyful shouting. He who goes to and fro weeping, carrying his bag of seed, shall indeed come again with a shout of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Hallelujah. On today, I want to bring to you a subject, a thought that God has placed in my spirit. And I believe it is needed, amen, as we are in a new year. And I want to say to you, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I'm already in my new year from September. So y'all, y'all, I had to wait for y'all to catch up. Amen. I'm on a different calendar. So the thought that's in that God has placed in my spirit is number one, seek God. Number two is to stay focused and expect a divine turnaround. I can't hear nobody. Expect a divine turnaround. Seek God. Stay focused. And expect a divine turnaround. Tell somebody a turning around is coming for you. A turnaround is coming for you. Oh God, they didn't hear you. A turnaround is coming for you. But you've got to stay focused. Uh-huh. You see, a turnaround, uh, it is said that it is an abrupt or unexpected change, especially one that results in a more favorable or beneficial outcome. That's a turnaround. But can I tell you what a divine turnaround is? So there's a difference between a regular turnaround and a divine turnaround. A divine turnaround is when God steps in. Mm -hmm. A specific situation to reverse the circumstances abruptly. Uh, oh God, turning it into a positive experience that is beyond scientific explanation. Oh God, when God steps in abruptly and change your situation around. Uh, when God steps in and move on your behalf, that is a divine turnaround. Oh God, am I hearing anybody here? There is a divine turning around, a turnaround coming to the church of God, to the people of God, to those who will stay focused, to the people, to the church that will stay focused on God, to the church that will say, I'm going to seek God first. Uh -huh. I'm going to put first things first. I'm going to set my priorities straight. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh God, I'm going to put my priorities in order that I'm not seeking anything else, but I'm going to God first. I'm taking my mind, my eyes of everything, and I'm putting my eyes on God. Will you look at your neighbor real hard and give them a stare and say, stay focused. Mm -hmm. God is saying to somebody on this day that if you stay focused, if you seek me while you may be found, if you call on me while he is near, you can expect a divine turnaround in your situation. You can expect a double-double blessing. Oh God, you're going to get double for your trouble, but you've got 
to stay focused. You want double anointing, but God says you've got to focus. You want God to move on your behalf, but God says it is the season of focus. Oh God, oh God, what is being focused? That means you're giving your attention to God. The first thing when I get up in the morning, my attention to is to God. Oh God, not my neighbor, not my friend, not my sister friend. But my first priority is to seek first the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, and all other things, somebody say other things, uh, shall be added unto you. The problem with the churches is that we're in a backward kingdom. What is a backward kingdom? The backward kingdom is that we seek the added things first. Oh God. But with the kingdom of God, I seek God first. And when I seek God first, everything else shall be added. Oh God, I can't hear anybody. I shout, I've got to seek God first. So we have been in a season where, where it seemed like everything is out of place. Everything is out of order. Everything is out of control. It is a season where we recognize that God is still in control. It is a season where her faith has been tested. Oh God. Anybody's faith has been tested. We've been tried and we've been tested. My God. Uh, matter of fact, every now and again, we got to get tested for COVID. Uh, it is a testing season. Oh, God. You will be tested. And either we're going to focus on God or we're going to throw in the towel. Either we're going to focus on God or we're going to give up. Oh, God. Either we're going to swim or we're going to sink. Oh, glory to God. And God is saying that if you want what you want, you've got to put your focus on me. You've got to seek Yahweh first. Somebody say Yahweh first. Uh, Yahweh first. Uh, you've got to seek God first. So it is a season where it seems like nothing is certain, but everything is changing. And it seems as if not, it's not for the good, but for the bad. And as believers, our hope ultimately rests in the promise that Christ will come back for us one day. Anybody still believe that? <laughs> he will come back for us one day and he will make all things new. <laughs> but until then. We as God's children must remain focused on God. So somebody stay focused. So what should we do then? I want to give you about three or four examples of divine turnaround. Tell somebody divine turnaround. Tell somebody I'm ready for my double. I'm ready for my double anointing. I'm ready for my double blessing. Oh God. It is a seeking. It is a seeking. So the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It said, therefore my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Oh God. Be focused unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know your labor will not be in vain tell somebody your labor shall not be in vain what is Paul saying here he's saying don't allow anything to move you don't allow anything to distract you because the enemy is coming with distractions Oh God, but you can't allow the enemy to distract you from your purpose, to distract you what God has called you to do, to distract you from your assignment because your assignment is important. The assignment of this church is important so we cannot allow the enemy to distract us. Oh God, so you've got to stay focused. So Paul is saying, he said, be steadfast, be focused, be unmovable. Don't let any wind or doctrine begin to sway you. Mm -hmm. Oh God, don't let trouble move you. Don't let what's going on, going on around the world, take you out of your position. Take you out of 
have your place but be unmovable whatever is going on I'm still gonna stand I'm still gonna pray I'm still gonna seek the face of the Lord while he may be found am I talking to a church I'm gonna be immovable unmovable Uh, the church got to stand. When the government is in uproar, the church got to stand. Oh God, when the nation is falling apart, the church got to stand. Is there still a church? Let the church be the church. Let the church stand up and seek the face of the Lord. While they're wondering what do we do, the church is focused seeking the face of Jehovah. We don't have time for games. We don't have time to play church anymore. God. I said we can't play church. It is not church as usual. It's either you have a relationship with God or not. Either you're serving God for real, for real, for real or not. Make up your mind. Either you're in or you're out. Oh God, but we're going to seek God first. Oh, clap your hands for Jesus. So the apostle Paul, he's encouraging the believers to stay focused. Why? Because they had strayed away from what God, from what he had taught them concerning the resurrection. They had lost focus. They weren't prioritizing. They weren't putting first things first. After it seemed like Jesus delayed his coming, they started getting distracted. Oh God, distraction set in. Oh God, because they were waiting, they weren't seeing anything. And he said, listen, you've got to be unmovable. You've got to stick to the teaching. You can't cross over to a watered down gospel. Oh God, am I talking to the church? You've got to know what the word says. And you've got to hold on to the word of God. We live in a time uh, when people are preaching watered down gospel. Uh, but the church have got to get back to the gospel of the kingdom. Uh, oh God, and when you preach the gospel of the kingdom, uh, so shall be saved, uh, so shall be delivered, uh, so shall be set free. It's about the kingdom. Uh, it's about God's government uh, that will come on the earth. Uh, oh, come on, there's a new government coming. Uh, and that new government uh, will set the order and when we preach the new government when we preach the new government miracle signs and wonders That's a new government and this new government is not corrupt this new government is not biased am I talking to a church this new government is not fickle but this new government that's coming oh God ah, is going to do a new thing there's a new thing that God will do on the earth because of this new government somebody shout let thy kingdom come let thy will be done on earth see we pray that but we don't know what we're praying we don't know what we're praying because the truth of the matter is some of us we're not ready for him to come back because I didn't get the house yet I didn't get the husband yet I didn't get the wife yet I didn't get the added stuff yet so we're not praying for the kingdom to come but when we look at this present society it ought to be our prayer God let thy kingdom come when we look at COVID ravishing the land God let thy kingdom come when it look when we look at our children backsliding messing up don't want God we've got to pray let thy kingdom come when we look at the church straying from the foundation of the gospel of the kingdom our soul should cry out let let your kingdom come let your will be done where on earth as it is in heaven oh God somebody said let that kingdom 
Let that kingdom come. God, let it come. Let it come. So we've got to pray for this new government to come. We've got to pray that the change come. Oh God, and when the new government come, there shall be miracles, signs and wonders. Say, so God, let that kingdom come now. Let the spiritual kingdom come now. Or until the physical kingdom come. And when the spiritual kingdom come, my God, there shall be revival. There shall be an awakening. There shall be divine turnaround. Somebody shout God. We need your kingdom. Lord, we need your kingdom. Yes. Yes. We need your kingdom to yes. come. Because some things are out of order. Some things are out of place. Oh God, daddies are misplaced. Children are displaced. Everything is out of order. But there is a people that is seeking God first. There is a people that is crying out. Lord, let thy kingdom come. Somebody, a divine turnaround is coming. It's coming to a kingdom believer. So we see an example of a kingdom turnaround. Of a divine turnaround, rather. When we look in the book of St. Luke chapter 18, the Bible speaks this parable. He says, now Jesus was telling the disciples a parable. Mm -hmm. He was telling them a parable. He says, at all times, men ought to pray. Somebody say pray. Somebody say pray. Uh, at all times, men ought to pray and not to give up and not to lose heart. Saying in a certain city, it said there was a judge who did not fear God, had no respect for man. Oh, my God. Uh, he did not fear God. He had no respect for man. But there was a desperate widow. Uh, there was a woman uh, who decided to go to this judge. Uh, oh, God, is there a desperate person in here uh, that you're saying, God, I'm not going to give up. Uh, I've got a situation uh, and I need you to intervene. Uh, I need a divine turnaround uh, in my situation. The Bible says that she kept on coming to him, saying, she says, give me justice. Give me legal protection yes. from my adversary. The Bible says, for a time he would not. My God, you know those times you're praying to God and you're seeking God for an answer. But the heavens are silent. The heavens are shut up like brass. But tell somebody if you keep on going, if you keep on provoking the clouds, if you keep on praying, if you keep on seeking God, God will turn your situation around. But you've got to keep on pressing. Oh God, you've got to keep on going. Somebody shout. I'm going to press my way in. The Bible says he would not, but later he said to himself, he said, even though I don't fear God, I don't respect men. Yet because this widow, because she keeps troubling me, because she continues to come, because she refused to give up. Because she kept her eyes on the promise of God. Because she keep focus. Oh God. Because she's setting her priorities straight. Because this woman is persistent and consistent. I don't know if she's going to fight me. I don't know if she's going to jump on me. Oh, so I'm going to give her what she needs. Am I talking to a church? Is there a desperate person? person in here that you're saying God I'm going to seek you oh God until I find you I'm going to pray until something happens I'm going to go after you like never before is there a church here that is saying God I'm desperate <laughs> let your spirit cry I'm desperate let your spirit cry. And the Bible says, I'm going to give her protection. I'm going to give her justice. Then the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. He's saying, pay attention to what he says. Oh, he says, he said, then the Lord said, listen. And he said, and will not. 
our God, our just God, will not the just judge give you what you want if you keep coming to him? Oh my God. Somebody say, I'm going to God. I'm going to God. He said he will avenge the elect, his chosen ones who cry day and night. says I'm going to avenge them tell somebody I'm seeking the just judge uh, will he delay providing justice on their behalf he said I tell you that he will defend, de defend and avenge them quickly tell somebody there's a quick turnaround coming for you there's a divine turnaround coming for you but you've got to stay focused you've got to stay in the presence of the Lord for in his presence there he is fullness of joy at his right hand pleasures forevermore somebody shout stay focused there's a divine turnaround coming for you stay focused and God is going to move on your behalf the Bible says she kept on praying to God she kept on crying to God if we seek first the judge the just judge if we cry out to the judge of all judges God will avenge us of our adversary oh God God will avenge you of the enemy God is about to change a judge mind on your behalf Oh God, God is about to change a landlord's mind on your behalf. God is about to turn your situation around, but you've got to keep focused. Trust God with all your heart and lean not lean not lean not uh, to your own understanding uh, but the Bible says uh, in all your ways to acknowledge him and he's going to direct your path he's going to show you which way to go I came to tell somebody that there is a divine turnaround coming to you but you've got to stay focused take your mind off everything else and stay focused on God because when you focus on him he's going to focus on you I know what your situation is in your life who are what you're seeking justice for maybe you have a court case maybe maybe you have an issue in your life God will send the right judge God will turn it around maybe it's an immigration situation God will call the files to be mixed up and put yours on top I don't know who I'm talking to but I know that somebody's in this house that there's a divine turnaround coming to you right now. He's about to turn. Oh God, you're weeping into dancing. He's about to turn your situation. Yes. But you gotta stay focused. You got to stay focused. Maybe it's a problem with your marriage. And God is saying, take your focus off the man. Take your focus on the, off the woman. Take your focus off the problem. And put it on the problem solver. Who am I talking to in this place? He said, take your focus off. And focus on me. And I'm going to give you double for your trouble. I'm going to turn your life around. I'm going to shift you in a new place. I'm going to give you a new anointing. An anointing that you will never experience before. I'm going to give you an encounter with me if you shift your focus. A divine turn around is coming to you. If you believe it, say amen. Seek him, seek him uh, while he may be found uh, and call upon him while he's near. We've got to stop trying to be the deliverer. Not realizing that you're only the vessel, uh, but God is the one who will deliver and set free. We've got to stop playing God uh, and let God do his job. Uh, we've got to stop Playing junior Holy Ghost and let God be God. If God be God, oh, somebody open your mouth and praise Him. We've got to stop focusing on the storm. Right. 
We saw Peter walking on the water. We saw Peter. The Bible said he saw Jesus walking on the water. And the Bible said that they thought it was a spirit. Now, if I think it's a spirit walking on the water, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to run. But Peter, oh God. Somebody say Peter. Peter had the audacity to say, Jesus. If it is you, bid me to come, my God. God is looking for that bold kind of faith in this season. Jesus, if it is you, bid me to come. And the Bible says that Jesus says, come on, Peter. Come on on the water. You see, that's how we are. When everything is smooth, we can walk and we can trust God. Oh, God, and we can praise God and we can live lift our hands and we can sing the songs of Zion but as soon as a storm arose as soon as the wind get boisterous am I talking to the church the Bible said that Peter began to sink why because he took his eyes off Jesus he stopped focusing on Jesus oh God oh am I talking to the church now he took his eyes off the storm when you when you take your eyes off Jesus or put your eyes on the storm, you're about to sink. You're about to go under. But tell somebody, keep your focus. If you keep your focus, God is going to come through on your behalf. Don't let the wind distract you. Don't let the storm distract you. Don't let what's happening distract you. Don't let the winds and waves distract you. Don't let the news distract you. But keep Keep your eyes on God. Keep your focus on Jesus. And when you keep your focus, I decree and declare that there is a divine turnaround coming for you. God is about to pick you up from the sinking place. God is about to pick you up. Oh God, from the weak place. God is about to pick you up. Pull you out of depression. Pull you out of oppression. Pull you out of the trouble, but you've got to keep your focus on God. Don't look away, because the moment you look away is the moment you will begin to sink. God is about to bring a divine turnaround. Somebody turn around and say, God, do it for me. I don't want to sink. I don't want to go under. But God, here I am. I'm focusing on your promise. It's so easy. It's so easy. As soon as the children start acting up. As soon as the husband or the wife start acting up. We take our eyes off God. Uh, uh, but if you keep focus. Oh, the Bible says that Peter had the good sense to cry out, Lord, save me, save me. Somebody just begin to cry out, Lord, you've got to save me. Come in the midst of my trouble. Come in the midst of my situation. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Because I'm about to go under. But God, if you would save me, my sons and daughters are in trouble. But God, I came to seek you first. I came to call on the name of Jesus. For the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous. Is there any righteous in the room? The righteous, the righteous, the righteous. God, I'm in trouble, but I'm going to seek you first. I'm in trouble. Oh, God, but I'm not going to focus on the storm. I'm going to focus on you because I'm coming out of this situation. And God said, there's some storms coming. I said, there's some wind coming. There's some contrary winds coming. There's some things coming. But if you stay focused, you're going to hear some bad news. But if you stay focused, you're going to hear about bad weathers. But if you stay focused, you're going to hear about the storm. You're going to hear about climate changes. But if you stay focused, you're
you're going to hear about the Antichrist spirit that is in the world. But if you stay focused on God, even though the world may not experience turn around, but you, 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 the body of Christ, or if you stay focused, God will turn your weeping into dancing. God will turn your situation around. But you got to stay focused because there's some things coming. There's some situation coming. There's some problems coming. But it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what news you hear. I'm going to seek God first. I'm going to go to Zion. I will look to the hill from whence cometh my help. Somebody shout my help. My help. My help is coming from the Lord. Not from the CDC. Not from the government. But my They will send you all kind of things. And if you are not careful, you'll lose hope. You'll lose your faith. You'll lose your joy. But if I die, let me know in the honor of the Lord. If there are church here that will say, God, do what you want. I can't afford to get distracted. I can't afford to lose hope. Oh, I remember when God says to go to Africa, to go to Malawi. I had all different kinds of people telling me, are you going to go because COVID is there? I said, what is your problem? It's here too. I can't get distracted. I use wisdom as we say in the church of God. But I've got to hear God. Oh, when you seek God first. I'm not telling you to get up and go. Before you seek God. And get an answer from God. I'm not telling you to do what 
you want. But when you hear God, when you see God first, God will do a miracle. And I said, God, uh, everybody's saying you shouldn't go. I didn't want to tell my mother because uh, she strike fear into you. Oh, God, some folks you don't talk to. Oh, God, because after you talk to them, you're going to need deliverance from fear. Oh, but just a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about my troubles. You'll hear my faintest cry. And he'll answer by and by. Is there anybody here that's saying, I'm going to seek God first? And Bishop, I had a peace. I had a peace about it. And I said, God, God, listen, if you said it, I'm going to go. I'm not going to let folks what folks say. But if you say don't go, I won't go. And he gave me Nehemiah chapter 6. Nehemiah was building the wall, rebuilding the wall. Oh, God, you've got to understand this. Whenever you're rebuilding, Whenever you begin to rebuild your spiritual life, begin to build your prayer life, the enemy will come to try to distract you from what God has called you to do. But tell the devil, not this time. I'm going to see God first. I'm going to see Yahweh first. And whatever the Lord says, that's what I'm going to do. And if I die, I'm going to die in the Lord. Is there a church here that's a seek God? And I tell you, woman of God, I get that scripture and I say, yes, God. And the Bible says Nehemiah was building the wall, rebuilding the wall. The gates weren't completed. He still got a ways to go. And here comes Sambalat and Tobias. They always come to stop you from your turnaround. Oh, God, they always come to intervene. Sambalat and Tobias came. And they said, Geshem came. And they gathered together together and they said to Nehemiah, Nehemiah come down and meet with us in the plain of oh no oh God, is there a church here? He said come and meet with us and the Bible says that they did not come one time, they did not come two times, they did not come three, but four times they come because the enemy is trying to wear you out oh glory to God is trying to wear you down and so he kept on coming he kept on coming but Nehemiah he said oh no we will not meet with you why should the work cease why should I get distracted when there is a divine turnaround coming to Jerusalem why you ain't gonna stop me oh no not this time oh no i'm going higher oh no i'm coming out of this oh no you will not text me at midnight oh no i'm not gonna stop my prayer for you oh no i'm not gonna stop going to church for you oh no i'm not gonna stop church for you oh no Why? Why should the work cease? Why should the work cease? <laughs> Can I tell you? You've got to be careful. Because there were some prophetess. There were some prophets. That was trying to give him a false word. Am I talking to somebody? You've got to be careful. And you've got to know God for yourself. The Bible says. My God. So the prophet. 
He says, the path is Noadiah. The prophets. There's Geshem, the prophets. They came and they was trying to instill fear into the men of God. They was trying to stop the work of God. Trying to stop the plan of God. Listen, I'm building and I ain't no devil in hell. It's going to stop me. Am I talking to a church? There's a people that need to be delivered. There's a people that is going somewhere. There's a people that need a divine turnaround. There's a people that I'm called to. I will not get distracted. Not in this hour. Somebody ought to say, oh no devil. Not this year. Oh no devil. Not this month. Oh no devil. Not this season. This is my season of breakthrough. This is my turnaround season. This is. This is season. Yes. Of my breakthrough. This is my season of a turnaround. This is my season. The Bible said when the Lord brought back the captivity, he said we were like them that dream. When God move on your behalf, it's going to seem like a dream. Somebody stand on your feet and begin to cry to the Lord. This is the hour where we're going to see God like never before. I want some travailers that is in the room. Somebody that is expecting somebody that's pregnant with purpose somebody that will call on the name of jesus somebody open your mouth and say i'm gonna stay focused i'm gonna call on the name of jesus for the name of jesus is a strong tower the righteous running and i say Come on, put your hands on your belly. Rabba Kotobo. Oh, we're crying out to Jehovah. We're crying out to God. God, come to our rescue. God, come and deliver. God, come and set us free. Renew our mind. Renew our faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, let deliverance come to your people. In the name of Jesus. Come on, anybody need to be delivered? In this season and hour, lift up your hands and say, God, I'm ready for my deliverance. Everything that has distracted me, oh, is moving out the way right now. I need intercessors to go forth. Oh, God, come down, God. And deliver my soul. Come down, God. Oh, the Messiah, make a way out of nowhere. Come down, God, renew my faith. Come down, God, turn my situation around. Come down, God, deliver our children, deliver our house, deliver the nation, deliver. Oh, the Messiah, come on and provoke the clouds. God, let it rain. In the sanctuary, let it rain on your people. Let it rain, God. Move away the storms. Let the storm back up. Let the storm back up. Let the clouds. Let the clouds of glory come. Clouds of glory come. Clouds of glory. Come on, press in. Press in. Press in. Press in. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Otabakotaba. Rebeketabahaya. Rabashotorabahaya. Come on, Zion. I saw say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Lord, deliver. Let every demon begin to flee. Let every power of darkness. Let it bow. Let every idol begin to come down. Stronghold. Stronghold, come down. Somebody begin to tear it down. We tear down. Stronghold, stronghold. Every 
cancel. We tear you down. Spirit of divination, we tear it down. Leviathan, we tear you down. Babylonian spirit, we tear you down. Sambalot, Tobiah, Gisham, false prophets, false prophetess, we tear you down. Come down now. Every idol, every wall, generational spirit, generational curse. They've seen the enemy at your feet, trying to tie up your feet. But God says, I'm putting a restraining order against every enemy. You will not be bound in this season. And if it's okay, can I touch your feet? Ushada bando, reban sete banso, reban diosa. Somebody got some oil. Na na mandio. Come on, I need intercessors to pray. Ushaya rabasia, reban dera bohu. That no sickness, no disease will come nigh your dwelling. Ho bakara mandiosha. Ribania, come on, I need the church to pray. Oh, come on, I need the church to pray. Come on, I need the church to pray. Oh, I see on the Baho. Ribacata Baho. He come to the Baho. Ribana, you can sit, Bishop. He not a man, you shut up, Hey. Ooh, ooh, shanda na na mania, ribandere rebe sura bahaya. Oh, shata na na bahosa, riba kata bando kosi andara bahaya. Oh, shikanda na na bandio. 
How she can the Rabasiana? How Riba Satana Bahaya? Riba Katabahaya? Hey, under the Yoshata, remove every chain. We remove the chains in the name of Jesus. Devil, you're a liar. You're a defeated foe. The hands of God bind you. The Spirit of the Lord God is against you. Oh. Come on, lift your hands. Set your hands towards her. And God says, I'm setting the finances in order. He says, there's more coming to you in this season. He said, expect a breakthrough. Expect an overflow in the name of Jesus. God says, I'm going to cause men and women to sow into you. Because there are territories that you've got to cover. God says there is a release in the house. For ministers that are in the house, there's got to be a release to branch out and to do exploits for God. Come on, somebody put your hands together and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. Usha. Riba Shande. Oba Bashaya. Ikoro Bosura Mandio. Ikade Besianda Baha. Ribe Sura Mandio Satarabahade. God says He's about to do a miracle in this place. There's some of you, you've been waiting for change and turn around. But God says, I want you to stay focused. I want you to look to me. And God says, I'm going to do it. Right there, this young lady. This is okay, Bishop. I won't lay hands. I just want you to come. Rabashia Rabahaya. Come on, somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. God said, there's a newness coming to your spirit. He commands to Rabasia. He says, some things that was out of place, God says, I'm putting them back in place in this season. He Kotabaha. And he says, I'm about to fix some out of order situation. And he says that there is a gift in you that must be birthed in this next season. Ramandia, God says, I'm charging you to stand and I'm charging you to go forth, said the Spirit of the Living God. And God says, I'm blessing your hands. And He said, When I bless your hands, you shall bless this house. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and worship the Lord. Come on, you can't. Oh, somebody, come on. If you will receive it, God will do it for you. If you will receive it, come on, lift up your hands. Young lady right here. Yeah. God said there's a prophetic grace on your life. But he says, if you stay under the covering and the leadership and the guidance, God said this prophetic anointing will be like no other. I release the prophetic grace upon you now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Hosha. God says, even now I'm stirring it up in your belly. God says, He said, Get in my presence, get in my face. And he said, I'm cutting some people out of your life, I'm cutting the whisperers out of your life in the name of Jesus. Those that will block you, those that will be jealous and envious, those that will question where you are and where you're going and who you are among God says I'm cutting them out of your life in the name of Jesus I prophesy oh, that the Bora anointing in the name of Jesus 
that you will judge, that you will discern, that you will walk in righteousness, that you will be a truth teller in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, lift up your hands and receive it. Come on, lift up your hands and receive. Come on, there's a prophetic grace is in this house. God is releasing true prophets. God is releasing true intercessors. God is releasing warriors. There's a warrior in this house. Somebody open your mouth. Lord, I was shut up. That man right there. Yes. 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 My time is up. The enemy wants to kill you. He has put a time limit on your life. He can't do robo siki adubos. He ramandi osa. He riaso. He wants to attack your body and your mind. He wants to inject some things into your mind. Oh my God. But God says not so. He said, not so. Stay focused, men of God. And God says, a divine turnaround is coming to you. Every stiffness in your body. Hold up every tiredness that you've been feeling. New strength is coming. Oh God, I feel the anointing. I release the healing anointing on you now. I release the healing anointing. I release the healing anointing. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Come on, pray. Let that kingdom come. Pray. Let that kingdom come. Be healed. I go to your prostrate in the name of Jesus. I release the healing power. Every spirit that been trying to hold you back in the name of Jesus, I command a release. I command. Oh, come on! I feel the power of God in this room. I wish Zion would travail. I wish Zion would travail. Come on! I need Zion. Sir, behind him, would you just put your hand on his shoulder? Because every spirit I've been burdening you, God says, I'm lifting the load now in the name of Jesus. Every snake, whoosha, raban sokotabaha. I command it to be lifted off of you now in the name of Jesus and I speak to your spirit man and I command that spirit to loose you now and to let you go in the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. Come on, shout divine turn around. Come on, there's a miracle, Lord, that is on the other side of my praise. Somebody open your mouth and begin to praise God. Lord, I'm a seeker. Bishop, you can tell me when to stop. There's a prophetic grace that is in the house. Young lady right there, can you come? Yes, you. Woo. Oh, the conquering Savior shall break every chain and give us the victory again and again. For the conquering Savior shall break every chain and give us the victory again and again.
forget for the conquer shall, shall break every chain and give her the victory somebody lift up your hands the conquering savior is here Buddha Masha. the conquering savior is gonna break the chain and give you the victory. Ah. Oh, yeah, Bassi. Oh, conquer. Shall break it. Give us the victory. Again again. God says, I'm breaking some chains in your life. Everything that the enemy has been trying with you, God said, this is your season of break. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh! My God. I just felt a spirit lifted off of you just now. A spirit that has been attacking your head that have been attacking your mind. God says, I'm breaking the chain. The conquering savior is breaking it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come, I gotta lay hands on you. Ooh. Oh. oh, the victory is coming to you, woman of God. Oh. For the enemy has been trying to dry you up and tie you up. He's trying to bound you in the name of Jesus. The last season in your life, you were supposed to die. But God says, I spared your life for a reason and a purpose. And God says, now I'm going to break the chain. The conquering Savior is going to break the chain. Your spiritual womb seems to be dried up. But God said, it is your season of giving birth. I come against the spirit that that's attacking your mind despite Lusatayabasa. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of God on her mind. Every Leviathan spirit, every Python spirit, break! Oh! Sickness! And disease in the name of Jesus will not kill you in this hour. In the name of Jesus, I command a change, a shifting in your house, a shifting in your life. Loose the conquering chain. Oh, Every spirit of heaviness is being released now. Is lifting you now in the name of Jesus. Be lifted. Be lifted. I release the fire of God on you right now in the name of Jesus. Bishop didn't ask me to do this, but I want you to bring a $52 C and so into this ministry. Come on, grab something in your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, somebody praise him. He's worthy to be praised. He's high and lifted up. He's exalted on high. Ah, here you've been pulling on me all morning come on shake over my ass would be rabbi yes you're out of a hand oh 
God says, I'm giving you a second chance. He's a God of a second chance. And he says, don't you dare listen to the naysayers. Those who say that you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're getting into. God says that you're going to surprise so many. You're going to surprise those that have been speaking negatively. God says you're going to surprise them. And God says, I'm taking you through a purification process. And God says, go through the process. He said, don't rush the process. Because when I'm finished with you, oh man, Dios, ribando cosa, I see a trail of young people yeah. behind you. you oh, Shandara Bahaya, Rebecca de Basura Bahande, Rebe Sikandara Bahaya, Horaman Dios Sikandara Baha. Oh, somebody open your mouth and praise God. Somebody open your mouth. Oh, He God said, there is a generation that have been stuck. There is a generation that do not know God. <laughs> There's a generation that have strayed. He command the host. And God says, I pull you out in the right time, in the right season, in the right hour to bring change to the nation, to bring change to a people that have been stuck in bondage. God says, I brought you out in this season and in this hour, and I'm about to shift you. God says, make room. Make room. Oh, somebody say, make room. Make room. Make room. Oh, God, I can't hear the church. Make room. Because they're coming. The next generation that I've been lost is coming. God says, make room. Kingdom ambassador. Come on, make room. Make room. Oh, y'all don't believe this. God says, make Hey, I'm a sick I see them, I see them, I see a whole trail from here to the front all the way around. Got to their come. Because God says what you have, what you have and what you've been through and what you've been in, God says you're going to be able to contradict them. You're going to be able to contradict them. And God says, get in the word. Stay focused. Come on the full submission. Don't move. I don't care what anybody else tell you. I don't care. Don't let anybody rush you from the process. Oh God. Somebody stretch your hands towards I release. I release. Come on. Lydia Sodama. Risi Araba. Risi Araba. Ribeando Koso. Ribea Sodama. Riando Boho. Ribandiasa. There's some personal deliverance. Oh my God. That God wants to take you through. It won't be happening in one day. But God says now, oh God, Bishop, can you lay hands if that's okay? Ribasha, come. Ribasha, come. Yes, yes, yes. How? Shatabano. How? Shatarabasi. Ribakarabasarabaha. Ribandere. It's on you now. 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 Somebody open your mouth and praise God. Somebody open your mouth. I don't want to bother you, Bishop, but can you lay hands on that one right there? Because there is an, a spirit, there's an anointing of impartation that is in the 
room right now. There's an impartation anointing that is in this room. Oh, come on, somebody praise him. Oh, Somebody lift up your head. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Come on, right where you are. Receive the impartation. The impartation of the apostle. The impartation. Come on, receive it. She's releasing it. She's releasing it. She's releasing it. Receive it. Receive it. Oh, yeah, Bishop, one more and I'm done. This young lady right here. Oh, you're on the floor, but God says, give me 21 days. be a shifting in your life like never before. God says, I see God unplugging your ears. Because you're saying, God, I want to hear you. And I want to hear you clear. I hear your heart. You're saying, God, I want to hear you. I don't necessarily want to hear you through a prophet, but I want to hear you for myself. You speak to me. I got relationship with you. So God, you got to speak to me. I hear you. Somebody open your mouth and praise God. your seed, bring your seed, and come, and so, the Bible says, Nehemiah, he finished the wall in 52 days, in 52 days, the wall was complete, I'm praying for 52 days turnaround in your life, 52 days, whatever you've been believing God for, 52 days, somebody shout 52 days, God, there's a turnaround, if you stay focused, 52 days, somebody lift up your hands, open your mouth, and shout glory, 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 oh, God says, I'm going to bridge the gap, oh God. He said, I'm going to bridge the gap. I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the fence. Everything that has been broken down, God says, I'm going to rebuild it. God says, I'm going to surround this place with angelic presence. And God says, everything that the enemy broke down, every person that the enemy stole shall return in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God says they're watching and they're waiting and they want to come back. He said, I'm rebuilding it now. I'm rebuilding. Lift up your hands. Say, build it, Lord. Come on, build it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you now. Bless this place. Bless your woman's service. Let your power fall when your name is called. Restore her. Restore her. Restore her. Restore her. Restore her. Restore her. New strength. New ideas. New vision. There's a new vision that God has placed in your spirit. It shall be made manifested. It shall come forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore. I bind the dream snatcher. You will remember every dream. 
you will remember every vision in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the dream snatcher now. Every vision snatcher, I bind and break it in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Put your hands together for our mission.